All right, guys, I got my Blade 200 QX all built. I got the top cover back on just to give you guys an idea of how my uh, FPV quad actually looks now. I have my camera hidden inside the shell. Also, same for the VO transmitters hidden inside. I'm using a 90 degree uh, connector along with my Spartan antenna. You can see down here is where the VO transmitter sits. And also, I, I still have access to the dip switches, so in case I'm at the field, somebody's flying on my channel, I can easily change the dip switches to get anywhere from channel 1 through 7 using my Fat Shark uh, Attitude goggles. You can see the one, uh, the stock battery powers both the quadcopter and the video transmitter and the camera itself. So I saw a comment in my other video that some guy was getting some uh, line issues with one of his uh, video transmitter, and he said it may be very similar to mine. But so far, uh, just powered on, not flying yet. It just looks very clean. It's very smooth. I think this uh, camera, the, this little Pico camera actually has a little bit better uh, I would say quality video footage compared to my uh, older uh, Fat Shark. This is the whatever, I think it's the 480 but it's the smaller or the older version with the the two microphones on the side but it's the old Fat Shark that came with my Predator goggles but this Pico camera in my opinion just from looking right now it's kinda dark but just looking through my goggles it seems a little bit cleaner and a tad bit wider than the Fat Shark uh, camera that I have over here, so I think I like the way the Pico camera looks compared to my uh, Fat Shark uh, setup. And one thing I did notice was even with the clover leaf or a uh, regular st stick antenna, a whip uh, mounted onto the little 200 milliwatt video transmitter, I was getting no static. With the immersion, even though I'm close, every once in a while I would see some static of some uh, sort. But with this uh, 200 milliwatt, so far it looks really clean. It's very impressive. And it just, I can't really get my phone to focus uh, too well uh, using my goggles. So I thought it was sideways a little bit. But just to give you guys an idea of how it looks, look, it's pretty clean. There's no lines running through or anything like that. So, so far I'm really impressed with the quality with this uh, video transmitter and Pico camera that I got from RC Depot Hobby. So, that was a quick look to give you guys an idea of how I turned my uh, Blade 200 QX into a uh, little FPV setup. You can see 360 shot. And also by mounting the camera inside with the lens sticking out a tad bit, I can still come back and use my fingers to adjust the focus on the camera itself. So if I'm flying a lot of close proximity, really close against wall, I can change the focus for closer stuff. And if I'm flying outside, then obviously I'll just have the focus wide open so I can see a lot of farther shots. But you can see 360, 360. Looks pretty cool. So very happy. It took me quite a while to do it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys soon.